Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be making the Get a Grip Cup Cozy. This is the Get a Grip Cup Cozy here and it's just a simple cozy that will fit over your uh, either reusable or disposable coffee cups and it is uh, crocheted and around and it features this rich in texture puff or bead stitch. So this is the project that we're going to be working on today. For this project you will need about 32 yards of your favorite worsted weight cotton. You will need a five millimeter crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for finishing off your project. You will also find a free written tutorial for this project on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and you will find that linked here in the video notes of this video. Now that we have all of our materials together, let's get started. So to begin for this project, we are going to begin by making a slip knot. And in this tutorial, I am going to assume that you already have a basic understanding of crochet, how to make your slip knots, your chain stitches, your single crochet stitches, and I will show you how to make the puff stitch in this tutorial. So after making your slip knot, you are going to chain 28 chains. And after you have chained 28 chains, being careful not to twist your chain, you are going to join in the first chain with a slip stitch. So simply insert your hook and join with a slip stitch. Then for round one, you will chain one and you will single crochet in each chain around. So at the end of this round, you will have a total of 28 chains, uh, 28 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and you'll continue single crocheting all the way around. So I'm working my last single crochet here now. I've single crocheted in each chain all the way around. When I come back to the beginning in this first single crochet, I will join again with a slip stitch. I will join at the end of each round. I will chain one. And for round two, you're going to begin by single crocheting in the first stitch and then working your first puff stitch in the next. To make the puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. And you will do that for a total of four times. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, Insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over one last time, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, and pull through. You will have a total of nine loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through all of those loops that were on your hook all nine loops on your hook and that is your puff stitch. Your next stitch will be a single crochet in the next stitch. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. Single crochet, puff, single crochet, puff. So we've done single crochet, a puff stitch, single crochet, our next stitch will be a puff stitch. Yarn over, 
insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, do that four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all nine loops on your hook. That is your puff stitch made. And then single crochet in the next stitch. Next is a puff stitch. I'll show you one more. Insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, pull through. Third time, then the fourth time, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to repeat that pattern single crochet puff single crochet puff all the way around the 28 stitches and then come back to the beginning where you will join with a slip stitch. If you turn it over to the front you can see uh, those puff stitches coming out there in your work. So continue working around and meet me back here. I'm working in the last stitch here, working my last puff stitch of round two. And then after you complete that puff stitch, you of round two, that last one, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Join with the slip stitch in the first single crochet. For round three, you are going to chain one and you are going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that's in the top of each puff stitch and in the top of each single crochet stitch all the way around. So again, at the end of this round, you will have 28 single crochets. Once I'm finished, I'll turn it over so that you can get a good look at the puff stitches there on the other side. Almost all the way around, single crochet in the top of my last puff stitch, and then join with a slip stitch. So if I turn it over, you have a band just like this, and you can see the puff stitches there that are coming out. So I've joined with a slip stitch. Now I'm simply going to repeat row two. So that row that was made up of those puff stitches and single crochets, I'm going to repeat that. So that was single crochet in the first stitch and puff in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that once again all the way around uh, your cup cozy. So working my last puff stitch here of round four, And I'm going to join again with a slip stitch in that first stitch. So I now have two rows of puff stitches. This next row is going to be a single crochet row again, but we are going to uh, do a slight increase in our stitch count. So we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in that first stitch, but we will work two single crochets in the next stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two in the next stitch. Then you will work one single crochet in each of the next 25 stitches. So all the way around, basically until your last stitch.
So one single crochet in each puff stitch and each single crochet over the next 25 stitches. And then when you come to your last stitch, you will work two single crochets in that last stitch. So at the end of this round, and then join with a slip stitch, at the end of this round you will have a total of 30 stitches. So you will have increased your pattern by two. Then you will chain one, and again you're going to repeat that round two again. You would work your first single crochet in the first stitch, and then a puff stitch in the next. And again, alternate that single crochet, puff, all the way around, and then when you come back to the end, join with a slip stitch. So once you have completed your final puff stitch here in round six, you have a total of 30 stitches all the way around. You're going to join with a slip stitch, and you will chain one, and you will do your single crochet row. So we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. And you will see that uh, you should now have three rows of puff stitches. So you are going to single crochet in each stitch around and then you're going to do one more round of that single crochet and puff all the way around. So this round will be a single crochet round. Following the single crochet round, you will join with a slip stitch in the first stitch, and then you will work your next and your final round of single crochet and puff. Why don't you complete that, and then you can meet me back here when you're ready. Okay, so you've worked that round of single crochet, and you've worked that next round, round nine of puff stitches. So I'll just show you my work here. So you should now, by the end of row nine, you should have one, two, three, four rows of our rounds of puff stitches, and they're all separated by your single crochet rows. Now I've joined with a slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet and we're going to work our final round and our final round is a single crochet round but again we're going to do a slight increase. So you're going to single crochet in your first stitch and then work two single crochets in your next So one single crochet in the first, two in the next. And then you're going to single crochet and put one single crochet in each of uh, the stitches all the way around to your final last puff stitch. But in that last puff stitch, you will once again work two single crochets. So single crochet in the first, two single crochet in the next, and then it's going to be one single crochet in each of the next 27 stitches. So all the way around to that last stitch. And then in your final stitch, you will work two single crochet stitches and you will join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet. Then you may fasten off your work and weave in your ends. To weave in my ends, I just like to take my yarn needle just kind of weave it in and out 
of the single uh, crochet stitches in the top row there. And I wanna push my yarn through in a couple inches just so that I know that it's fairly secure in there. I'm going to snip it off and I'm going to do the same for the other end that's here on the other side. And again, I'm just going to kind of weave it in and out of these stitches here on the bottom. If you want to make sure that it's really secure, you can weave it into some of the puff stitches. But just thread it through for a couple inches until you're confident. Pull it tight through. Fasten off your little end. Turn it back up to the top, and there you go. That is your Get a Grip Cup Cozy, and you're all set for your next cup of coffee or tea. Thank you so much for joining me for this crochet tutorial on how to make the Get a Grip Cup Cozy. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to visit me and follow me on Facebook where I'll continue to bring you, hopefully, weekly crochet patterns and tutorials. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting. Bye.